third date, I invited her over to my uh, flat. She came to my flat, which is highly unusual. But she came in a full-length cheetah jacket, at least $50,000. And then she drove a new car. I can't remember what it was, but it was a nice car. And I went, oh, yeah, this girl is out of my uh, league. You ask her on a date. Do it in the early stages, the very early stages. Can be even on a first date, no problem. How do you see your ideal? Don't use the word dream. Dream family life or your your dream life. Why? Ukrainian women, because they have a scarcity, <coughs> they have a scarcity mindset because of the Soviet Union's communist way. They were brought up poor. So they have a, just most of them. I'm going to say 80% have a scarcity mindset. You guys need to know that. So um, don't say the word dream. They don't identify with dream. You know, most Ukrainian women don't even dream. Sad. It's sad that they, they don't feel that, like, it's pie in the sky, you know? It's a woozy, it's a wuzzy. <laughs> the guy saw Wolf of Wall Street. Ask her what her ideal future looks like. How does the family life look like? Uh, where do you live? What country, city, type of house? Where is it inland? Is it on the sea? Is it on the sea? What does your life look like in your ideal future? What's the shit test, test here, guys? You want to see what is her uh, quality of life expectations? How expensive is she going to be to make happy, right? Um, you know, that is important according to your pocketbook, right? You need to choose a woman that you can make happy, that will be happy with the lifestyle you can provide on your, based on your nest egg that you, nest egg that you created already, based on you, right? Um, you don't want to be punching higher than your financial weight. It's just the formula for disaster. She's not going to be generally happy with a guy that's uh you remember the lady in red i did her soul profile she took the guy to louis vuitton she's the first date one one and only date with match guarantee took him hey i'll meet you at louis vuitton that was where the and she set the location that's that's the first mistake right the man always sets the location of a date with ukrainian woman it's it's masculine they don't like to choose and if the woman automatically just offers to choose well that's a red flag in of itself <laughs> if it's louis vuitton is a very big red flag but the thing is she wasn't a scammer she just had wealthy parents they lived in dubai for 10 years and her father was was wealthy the family was wealthy and she wanted a guy that could keep her standard of living nothing wrong with that we don't want bbws right most guys want tall and skinny or at least skinny right Women want strong providers. We want sexy. We want woody value, right? <laughs> Which means slim, right? Not fat. So, and that's what women want. Nothing wrong with that. But anyway, you need to choose a woman who's at your level or hopefully below your level. Personally, I would have never, it was a turnoff for me. If I could sense she was above my financial le level, um, I just cut because I knew that was trouble in the making. Like I went on a third date. I invited her over to my uh, flat. She came to my flat, which is highly unusual, pretty much a red flag. But in this case, it, it wasn't, but she came in a full length, um, cheetah jacket. Guys, you have any idea what that was worth? At least $50,000. And then she drove a new car i can't remember what it was but it was a nice car and i went oh yeah this girl is out of my uh, league financially and it was tough because she was really into me but i learned to shut the fuck up about money i didn't always in my first who many dates i screwed it up because as you guys know i went to ukraine um bankrupt which caused the divorce that tends to happen and homeless yeah, literally, I was staying at my brother's house, um, sleeping on the couch in his cabin on the woods um, in the Kootenays. And so when I would tip my hand about my financial status, which I did in my real early days of dating, that was her. I mean, that's one of the ladies shit tests. 
she doesn't want to be with a bankrupt man and that that's a very bad word in ukraine bankrupt let's just say bankrupt like, Ooh, really yeah so i learned um the hard way to shut the fuck up about money and 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 once i did you know i could fake it till i made it kind of thing right um because you do have to learn how to communicate like a uh, ukrainian man which is that's what they do they don't talk about money they don't tip their hand about what they're worth or not worth Today, it's completely free for you to have a video date face-to-face -face with beautiful Eastern European women of all ages and walks of life. Oh my god, <laughs> that's it, I'm all yours. So I, I brought flowers. Wow, it's so beautiful. With makeup or no makeup, hair up, hair down, you always look great. Thank you. You get to ask all your deepest burning questions. Okay, so we will see you live over at ukrainedating.tv.